this is going to be a really long video. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new here, my name is Lizzie and I'm a Disney plush collector from the UK. So happy Friday, I hope you've all had a great week so far. I am here to end my Disney Cruise Line vlog series with my haul. So this is going up a long time after we actually sailed. I'm filming this just as we got back. I'm wearing a new spirit jersey that my friend Scott got me from Disneyland Paris. It is nautical themed so I wish I had it before because I would have definitely wore it on the cruise but I did already see someone wearing it on the cruise so I would have just been matching with them if I had. But the writing on the back of the spirit jersey actually goes across the arms as well which I've never had on a spirit jersey before so that's really nice and I just wanted to share that with you. I do have some Disney Cruise Line spirit jerseys I could have worn but I really wanted to wear this because it's adorable. So this haul is going to cover what I got picked up before the cruise, what I got from Shop Disney UK before the cruise, what I bought from the airport and on excursions and what I bought on the Disney Dream. So starting with what I got picked up, if you didn't see my Disney fantasy haul from last year, I will leave a card up above because I managed to get Dale and I thought Chip would be really easy to get on eBay and he wasn't. So I asked a personal shopper if they could get me Chip from their Disney Wish cruise that they did and they did so I have now got the chip to match my dial he was $22.99 I don't think there was tax on that cruise but there was tax on my cruise so the prices are going to get very confusing but I'm very grateful that she got him for me because guess what my cruise only had dial again it's like they know when I'm sailing and they only have one out but in my mind, I don't think you should ever just put the one out. They probably should have held him in the back until they got more chip. Because who's buying just Dale on his own apart from me on the fantasy this time last year? But I'm very, very glad to have chip now. And then randomly, Shop Disney UK released a Disney Dream in Europe collection which happened to be what was going to be on board but I just wanted to get it just in case they didn't have it on board even though they did. So I got the ornament that says the dream in Europe because I believe it's the first time that the dream has sailed in Europe. I think it was usually the magic. I could be wrong but I just really love this. It's got Donald and Goofy painted on it and it's just adorable. It is flat on the one side but that doesn't really bother me but they did have it on my cruise but it was one less thing that I needed to buy basically. And then I love a tin of biscuits and I love a Queen Elizabeth II tin. So I got this from Birmingham Airport. It is the commemorative Walker's tin of biscuits. So you've got Queen Elizabeth She's probably in her 20s here, she's probably just become queen and it's got one of her dogs there and I just absolutely love it and I love Walker's biscuits and I can finally eat them now I've done this haul. I will eat the biscuits and then I'll probably put pins or something in the tin. And then in Barcelona we went to the Hard Rock Cafe because of course luckily our hotel was walking distance from the Hard Rock Cafe. So the first one I got was the guitar pick. I really love this one. It has a lot of things on that I didn't get to see, but I got another guitar pick pin and I need to actually bring them over from mum's house to be honest because they're all there at the moment. And I've got to work out where they're going to live here as well. Like where are they going to be? And then because I couldn't just choose one, I also went for a guitar pin as well. And these two are my favourite ones to collect. They did have other ones, but I tend to lean towards the guitars and the picks. And then all of my excursion goodies. So the first place we went was Pisa. So I got a little New Emo's sized Pisa. And obviously it's leaning. There's going to be a theme that they are all kind of New Emo sized. But I just really wanted to commemorate the fact that I went to Pisa. And then I got a little keyring of a red fear. And it says Italia on it with the flag. And I just had to get this. I told the man I was buying it from that this is my car and he looked at me like I was mental but I had to get it and then finally another keyring I got 
a traditional Pinocchio trying to push up the Pisa Tower. They did do wooden Pinocchios, but it was just freaking me out, so I just got a keyring instead. And then from Rome, I got a little Colosseum, which I absolutely love as well. And then this is definitely the biggest one. I got a marble Pompeii, and I really wanted one that had like ruins as well as how it was meant to look, because there were some that did one and not the other. So I was really happy with this one. And then finally, I also got a little pot that says Pompeii. It reminds me of Hercules, even though that's Greece, but yeah, I just love this. And again, new email sized. So that was everything I got on excursions. So now we're going to start on the smaller items I bought that are in a Christmas mug box because why not? So the first thing I got was an absolute bargain and I actually got two. I got this lanyard for 99 cents, admittedly before tax but I have decided that I will display my Disney Cruise Line pins on lanyards so I've already done one with the pins I already had and then I'm going to show you the pins that I've got now and use the other one so the other one I got is already up Basically, I made a boo-boo and I thought they were two separate ones. I didn't realise that they were reversible, but for 99 cents, I really don't care and it gives me somewhere to display my pins. And then I got a fridge magnet. This isn't going on the fridge because if you've seen our kitchen and if you haven't, I will leave a card up above. We don't actually have a traditional fridge where you can put fridge magnets on, but my desk has magnetic backing, so it's going to go on there. I just absolutely love these where it's like a different character for each letter. I've got a Disneyland Paris one somewhere that I really need to find so yeah just absolutely love this and then on to pins because I got quite a lot of them I got two limited edition ones so I got the dream of Europe 2023 this was obviously more expensive than the rest and then I got another dream of Europe one which was the same price even though that one was like better it has a dangly element this one doesn't but I don't know how they price pins and then I got a Mickey Captain Disney Cruise Line pin I really love this new style of Mickey that they're doing and then I got Got this one because it looked like it was 25th anniversary by the colouring. They had absolutely nothing 25th anniversary on our cruise for us to buy. No lounge fly, no spirit jersey, nothing like that. Apparently they had sold it all on the transatlantic um, which I don't think was fair because that's my only cruise of the 25th anniversary now so I'm just going to miss out. It doesn't feel fair that they couldn't just hold back stock from the cruise before like they would normally but really happy that I got this pin even though it's not technically 25th anniversary. And then I got this spinny one. I do love a spinny pin to be honest. So it's got Pluto, Donald, Goofy and Mickey and they can all spin around and again it's in that new stylized thing that they're doing and I just love it. And the final one is just a regular like Parks pin but I've wanted these since we got engaged. So they are the Mr. and Mrs. matching pins. I absolutely adore them. I might have to create a little pin board just for wedding pins. And then the smaller items I've got, we have got this 2023 ear hat ornament because I've started to collect them and it says Disney Cruise Line on the back and I just adore it. I didn't even ask how much it was I just bought it so I don't actually know and it's by Costa Alvesos and I just adore it and then I got another butter knife I did get one of these on the magic but I like keep it for best I don't know where my other one is though but I did say I wanted to get one for us to actually use for butter but I'm gonna have to wait until I found the other one but I got another one of these they didn't actually have them in animators palette because they get stolen a lot because people don't want to buy them but I just bought one why steal one guys and then the final thing that's little I wanted something that looked like the funnel so I got this I think it's a toothpick holder which I know is what Disney calls a shot glass but I can't imagine having a shot out of this to be honest but I got this it wasn't very expensive it was like $13 before tax and I just love it you might be wondering why I keep saying before tax because normally you wouldn't pay tax but we did have to pay Spanish tax because we were in Spain when we left and you could get it back but where they told us to go they wouldn't accept mine but they would accept mum's so I haven't been able to apply for the refund unfortunately so I did have to pay 21% tax for everything that I bought and you may notice that I'm not actually really telling you how much things cost but if I just tell you that all of this together worked out to be about £600 
then that's where we're at. Oh, another little thing, I got this like transportation toy set because I've got some from Tokyo and I like the idea of having them all on my shelf. So you've got the Disney Cruise Line bus that we took when we went from Walt Disney World to the Fantasy and you've got a ship as well. And then some stuff you get for free. This is the new silver Castaway Club lanyard and like card holder. I really loved this, although they did keep saying that you needed to take the card out to scan it to get off the ship and stuff which is a little bit annoying because you didn't have to do that with the previous one and then they've changed the bag that you get for silver castaway club so it's now this really cute bag that i think i'm going to use for work because it's just freaking adorable it says it's time to cruise and it's got mickey and minnie on there and it's a lot better for me than that like sling bag because i don't like bags like that basically and i've just randomly found some cruise line napkins we also kept our luggage tags because we didn't need them and they were Pluto. This was basically if you wanted your stuff to be taken off the ship for you, which I can imagine would be helpful for some people, but I just wanted to keep my stuff with me. And then I did get a pair of ears. I know I don't usually buy ears, but if they are plush ears, I've started to buy them. So these are the Disney Cruise Line plush ears. It's the new like 2023 stylized Mickey and Minnie, and they've both got captain's hats on. And then on the bow, you've got a little anchor and I just absolutely adore them. They're not too comfortable but I don't wear ears for very long anyway. And then random I know but I got a popcorn bucket. So we had popcorn a few nights when we saw a show and I got the Disney 100 Years of Wonder popcorn bucket in purple because it's a balloon and I just absolutely love it. It does have a lot of holes in you may notice. That is so that you can screw it apart and clean it which I do need to do now because it stinks of butter popcorn. And then I got some clothing Thing. I got the new stylized cruise line hoodie. It's a zip up grey one. It's got Captain Mickey. It says Disney Cruise Line down the one arm. And then this is the artwork on the back. It doesn't say the year. My mum got the one that said 2023. But I just absolutely love this. I wear grey a lot and I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. But it's quite thick. So it's probably not going to come out until the autumn now. Completely forgot to mention that I also got these Crocs on the cruise as well. They had a black pair and a white pair, but I've already got a black regular pair of Crocs, so I went for the white, but they need a clean, as you can see. And then, of course, Shop Disney UK didn't get this, or else I'd already have it. I got the Dream of Europe Spirit jersey, so you've just got a little Mickey on the front. And then it says the Dream of Europe Disney Cruise Line, and the bottom of it is all the places that it is going this summer. So obviously we just went to France, Spain and Italy, but there's also Greece on there, Netherlands, the British Isles, Denmark. My mum also got this, which is really cute. So we're matching. And then I'm going to show you the plush and then the kind of like collectible stuff I got. So you may remember from my trip announcement, and if you don't, I will leave a card up above to that video. I decided to go through the kind of merchandise that I wanted. You may notice I didn't get the dream pin that's the back of the ship, and that is because unfortunately they just did not have it. But I did say the last plush that I needed to complete my collection was Donald. So I got him. I snatched him right up that first night, even though he never sold out but you just can't be sure but I absolutely love him and what I was shocked to say given that I'd researched what plush existed was that they also did a daisy so I do now officially have all of them they all live on the top of these shelves and I'm just so happy that they did a daisy because I was a bit confused that they didn't but they do and I've got her. And then of the two towel animal plushes that I said I wanted, I said I wanted the monkey more. Luckily they only stopped the monkey so I managed to get him a few nights in. What did annoy me is that when I asked if they would restock that pin they said if you haven't seen it we don't have it and yet I posted a video on the first night that showed that they didn't have this and they got it a few nights in. So just telling me that if you didn't see it on the first night they won't have it ever on the ship is just a lie basically i had been told by some people in the queue waiting for the shop on the first night that if there's something that you're after you can tell them and they put your name down and they contact you if they find it in the back but they refused they basically just said if we don't have it now we won't have it ever but it's a good thing that i check the shop every day or else i wouldn't have this little guy And then 
I probably should have shown this to you in the things we got for free, but I wanted to show it to you with the collectibles stuff. So the second night on the cruise was the Silver Anniversary at Sea where there was fireworks. There was meant to be another menu, but there wasn't. And like I said, there was no merchandise. But every stateroom got one of these commemorative lithographs. You get a certificate of authenticity. And then it's a picture of Captain Mickey in a little frame. And I absolutely adore it. I think we've decided it's going to go in our living room. And it was just such a nice touch. But it was quite funny. When Joe said, did we get that for free? I said, well, the room did cost £4,000. So you're damn right. They've got to give us something to say thank you for that. But it's a really nice touch. They didn't have to give it to every state room. They could have kept this for like the Pearl people or something who've done 50 plus cruises. And then... Again, if you watched my trip announcement, you will know that I really wanted this. This is the Admiral Donald from the Atrium of the Dream. So I am just missing the fantasy, unfortunately. I don't know anyone who's going on the fantasy, but if you are, I really want the mini statue and also the ship because they didn't have the dream ship either on this cruise. And then the final thing I got took a little bit of debating on the last night as to whether it could fit in suitcases and things, but I really loved the show The Golden Mickeys, so I actually got one of the Golden Mickey statues. This is going to go near my partner's statue, but I just absolutely adore this. And it was only like $40 before tax, I think, and I just couldn't pass it up. I liked the idea of having my own golden mickey. So that is everything I got on our Disney cruise. Like I said, it was difficult to work out what each individual thing was because tax was added, but I ended up spending about £600. So it was a very big haul, probably a bigger one than when we went on the fantasy and definitely bigger than when we went on the magic. So I am broke for the foreseeable future now, guys. <laughs> but I don't know when I'll ever get to go on another Disney cruise. So it was a no-brainer to me. Thank you so much for watching watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below which item was your favorite i'll be back on tuesday for a new video and we will be back to sit down videos on fridays as my vlogs have now ended have a great weekend and i will see you on tuesday bye friends <laughs>